Hey guys, another HubSpot tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering the inbox features in HubSpot, which can be found on the conversation menu. Now, I already have three inboxes in here, um, but I really haven't configured anything yet except for linking the podcast inbox to our podcast email address and um, that can be found under the inbox settings um, again we have three inboxes in here let me just select podcast i have linked or shared mailbox into this um, podcast inbox and you're not just limited into linking that uh, an email address um, it also allow you to connect the live chat the built-in live chat support um, thing and also the submissions um, in HubSpot and the Facebook messenger but most of our like all of our podcast inquiries coming from the podcast at Hollywood this this email address so we don't need to um, connect the other one but for general maybe general inquiry um let me just create an inbox um let me just create an inbox account so to create an inbox or to create a different channel you click the actions you click the create inbox and let's say um i want to have like a general inquiry um i want everyone to access it and click next and i also want to connect our like our outlook or something and stuff so if you want to connect your outlook things i'm gonna let me just click the microsoft Out outlook this is just an example but you need in order for you to link that email address you need to to log in to the outlook or to that email client so um this I, i'm just testing some i'm just using my email address as an example but once you like let's say log into that so I'm just using my my email address, the Angie one as an example. But yeah, if you have the access to the support ad or to your sales account, you just need to link that in. The process is super easy to follow. Um, then here, if you want to assign the conversation or the in inbound inquiry to a specific person, you can turn that on. I'm assigning it to myself and stuff connect and view inbox now if you go back to the inbox section in here um, i already connected our our channel if you want to add more stuff like facebook messenger um, you can also do that you just need to click continue and then you follow the wizard instruction it will ask you what fan page you want to connect with um, but yeah so click that continue it asks you what email what what account you want to connect with hit next and then done then okay ready to connect that into so next and then next next and view inbox so we have that this is a test email by the way um so here we have the facebook um if you you have a certain like forms you want to add up as well just need to build, to connect the form so that's how it works guys and oh i forgot if you have an email address that is a standalone email address all you need to do is you click the connect a channel team member let's say it's an independent um email address so let's say it's a info it is just a sample by the way you click the next you can also add signature 
by the way. Um, use an HTML if you have to. Um, hit next and you also assign someone or you just, just keep it as a round robin. That's fine. Now this in this area here called hello, you need to put that into a forwarding email address. So let's say it's in the Outlook. But normally, if it's an Outlook or a Gmail, it's just super easy for you to connect your HubSpot inbox. But let's say um, if you, I mean, in Outlook, if you want to do the manual process, you just need to click that there. View this gear icon, you click the view all Outlook, go into the forwarding, and you just need to put in the HubSpot forwarding email address. Okay, this works on different email address. Once you put that over, you can hit the connect and that will um that will make things work. The other way for you to access as well the inbox in HubSpot is by clicking this gear icon in here and go into the tools and then inbox section. So again, this is like the option we just seen earlier. Um, Aside of that, um, we have availability management where you can see what are the only inbox that this person can only access. Um, in here on the allow and to lease, if you want to remove a certain or deny a certain email address, maybe if it's all about no reply, then you don't want any incoming email. So let's check a sample of emails that I that you think would not um was not something we want to put in or forwarded to our inbox section let's go into the podcast yeah i think let's say just no reply so anything related about go back in here um let's go to the hello and Deny. Oh, it's a little bit disappointing. There should be an options to just block something like no reply, like this one. No reply. Housebot, but I want to I hope they can have an options where if an email address has a no reply extension, then it should be denied. But I don't like yeah, but I don't like this. Um I wish there is an options where you can have like if any of the email address has a no reply then that can be denied yeah but anyway that's how it works and if you have any question let me know i'll be happy to answer it um you can also email me or send me a message on facebook thank you and have a great day